Hi. In this episode of Prophecy 101, we're talking about word of knowledge. Word of knowledge is a spiritual gift in the prophecy family in that it reveals specific information to the recipient for the purposes of moving the Great Commission forward. It's not a parlor trick to prove the speaker's spirituality, but the purpose is to bring conviction to the hearer. Thus, word of knowledge commonly exposes sin or has the effect of encouraging Jesus followers by solving specific problems as we follow Jesus. But since we know in part and we prophesy in part, we often have to walk things out with faith and with prayer after receiving a key bit of information that is part of a bigger picture. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Some examples of word of knowledge in Scripture are God telling Moses that someone had kept some of the devoted items from Ai that should have been destroyed. But there was a longer process determining that it had been Achan. Three other examples are, one, Elisha knowing Gehazi had taken clothes and silver from Naaman the Syrian. Two, Jesus knowing the Samaritan woman had had five husbands and was now living with a man she wasn't married to. And three, the Apostle Peter, knowing that Ananias and Sapphira had not given the full amount that they received in the sale of their property as they had claimed. In my life, the spiritual gift of word of knowledge has most often been exercised in my own household. Let me encourage you to heed every prompting to check on your children when the Holy Spirit tells you something is wrong. On one occasion, I had dropped my sons off at a gym, planning to return to pick them up a few hours later. But through the Holy Spirit, I knew something was wrong. I turned the car around and I returned after only 10 minutes. I hadn't even gotten out of the car when my boys came running out having spotted marijuana use and other hinky behavior by others in the gym. On other occasions, the word of knowledge was, check the phone, or check the computer, or look into that friend, and this sort of stuff. The Holy Spirit has even given me a password very specifically as I needed it to undercover, to uncover, destructive behavior in my household. Outside of my household, this spiritual gift is commonly telling me that people are lying as God reveals his deep concern with covenant. When people lie about being married, the Holy Spirit usually tells me. Other words of knowledge I receive are often centered around other failures to honor marriage. But it's not a gift of suspicion. The information given through the spiritual gift of word of knowledge is specific enough to be actionable. Like all gifts, we exercise them with more faith if we ask and keep on asking, and if we're spending a lot of time in Scripture. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. And many words of knowledge come when in prayer, when in scripture, or when in worship. So don't just pray for the words of knowledge. Open your heart and mind and spend more time with God through prayer, in scripture, and in worship. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Amen. The good life is the land where the big grapes grow, milk and honey flow. From the morning till the night, everybody's singing to Jesus. Yeah, the good life is the land where the big grapes grow, milk and honey flow. From the morning till the night, everybody's singing to Jesus.
Jesus.